Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 on Warner's playthrough. Last time we used the Super Nelson to take on Mission 615, and it did okay for the most part. Um, but after I recorded that episode, I was like, man, did, I honestly can't remember if we put any armor on the Super Nelson. Well, check the bottom of the screen. Yeah, we didn't put any armor on it during the live stream when we made this thing. I totally forgot about that. So, uh, we're gonna give it some armor. That's that's pretty good right there. We could go more and more and more. Okay, so we could go all the way up to 46 centimeter armor. But I want to be able to put some more ammo depots on here as well. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, I just wanted to point this out because I, I literally thought of this. And then as I was like thinking about it, someone, I think it was Nova Topaz, posted a comment and was like, Wait, did we put any armor on this thing? And it was like, he that notification literally came up as I was thinking it to myself as well. I was like, wait... I don't think we did, um, so that's pretty funny that I totally spaced on, on putting armor on this thing. Of all, of all things, armor. I forgot armor. I mean, how, how do you even do that? Apparently by, by being me. That's how you do that. So, also we're going to add several ammo depots because ammo is just, it's just a nice thing to have. So there's the Super Nelson actually properly ready for combat, but we're still going to use the... Um, we are still going to use the twin hold battleship for the next mission because it is our toughest ship, and also because it, uh, well, it has the massive wave gun, and we haven't actually seen what that looks like yet. We could use the supercarrier. Um, in fact, there was a suggestion to use that and replace the guided particle guns with photon guns, which is not a bad idea. Um, so, you know, we'll see about doing that in the future. But uh, we are also getting pretty close to the end of Warder's Path, so I have a question for you guys. If you could please leave your opinion in the comment section below. Um, I've made it pretty clear how excited I am to move on to new Let's Plays, namely Pokemon Coliseum, which will be starting after this. Now, uh, since we have done that um, special episode stream, I really like that format a whole lot better for streaming, or for the, uh, the special episodes. So, my question for you guys is... Would you like to continue doing normal, like, episodes um, and have them be special episodes daily when this is over? Wow, engine damage for the first time in ages. Um, so we could keep going with daily Worship Gunner 2 videos and there'll be special episodes, kind of like what we had before. Or we could start the new Let's Play and then we'll still try to do, like, weekly streams of special episode Worship Gunner 2 stuff until we finally, eventually run out of ideas. Um, it's up to you guys. Um, it I doesn't well. I say it doesn't matter to me either way. I would really like to start the next Let's Play uh, ASAP, but um, that that's just me. I'm I'm very excited to play Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, not to mention, you know, other stuff that uh, that is just going to be a lot of fun to to play. So um, I would rather go for starting the new Let's Play and going with. Uh, going with, um, sorry, I'm fighting, <laughs> um, starting the new Let's Play and going for the, the weekly live stream version, uh, but I'll leave it up to you guys, because after all, I make these videos, well, partially for me, because I have fun making them, but also mainly for you guys, I mean, obviously, you guys are the audience, you guys should get to, you know, have a hand in deciding what happens in that regard, so, uh, I leave it to you. Vote in the comment section down below. Engine damage again. Wow, this is uh, this is unusual for us. Honestly, like engine damage is it became kind of a, a channel wide meme in the first couple of Warship Gunner games in in Warship Gunner One and in Commander, but it really hasn't been an issue in this game so much until today, which is odd, and hull breach as well. All kinds of speed reduction things. Well. And the only reason I'm going full uh, full repairs here is so we can work up towards the repair or die um, Inferno mission, because I still want to cover those at some point. Uh, I'm betting one of them will be unlocked after we beat Warner's Path, and the other one obviously is to repair a hundred times throughout the course of story missions. If I have to, I'll grind that one off camera after the Let's Play is done. Um, just so that we can do that during one of the special episode streams, or special episode videos, depending on what you guys decide to do, decide to vote on, so. There's a repair kit in the mix here somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Parts crate and a repair kit that I want. 
Let's fire some Azrox at that sub. I think we're still on normal difficulty because I forgot to I forgot to put it back up to whoops. I forgot to put it back up to hard difficulty for this guy. Um, but part of the reason why I took this ship is to use the massive wave gun, so let's see what this looks like. I bet it looks awesome. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It's like firing a sun out of the front of my ship. That's so cool. I love it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite looking wave gun so far. I gotta say. I gotta say, that's that's my favorite looking one so far. There's only one other wave style weapon that we don't have, and that's the Sepia Pulse Cannon, which I think is the same one that the giant squid was using, so it's like that, that black uh, wave gun, which looks pretty cool, but I, I like the idea that this one literally just looks like I'm launching a sun at my opponents. I mean, that that's pretty sweet, so... Uh, speaking of launching a sun at my opponents, hello. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Let's watch the minimap. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is satisfying. Let's get over there and murder those guys, shall we? Do, 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 do. Oh, I love this, this battleship so much. We're not even very fast anymore, and obviously we don't have Kappa. I set this thing up to be as tanky as possible, but it, it didn't end up making a huge difference because, you know, I forgot to put it back on hard difficulty. But anyways, still, um, it's still a super duper effective ship. You can tell we're at least on normal, though, with all the parts crates we're getting. We'll fire Azrox at, like, everything. Probably only like Enemy one sub sunk. in here somewhere that I forgot about. Enemy ship sunk. Let's see, Enemy ship or sunk. I got all of them. I don't know. I guess I, I guess I got all of them. This parts crate. Yeah, I think that's all of them. I think there's only six subs up here. Chaff. Let some of the high angles deal with that lighthouse over there, just because. Grab some of these things. Uh, for the ammo, let's go with the. Wave gun, even though I'm really not using it that much. But I have already used, you know, almost half the ammo. Might as well go ahead and restock that. I don't even anticipate using it that much for the rest of this mission. Although I do have one idea that I want to try that I've not tried before on this mission. Even as, as many times as I've farmed this, I've never actually tried this idea that I have now. So the idea basically is to destroy enough base installations to complete the mission. And I have one idea, looking at the map now. I have a plan. <laughs> Some of you may be able to guess what I'm thinking here. I just gotta make sure I, I line it up effectively. Deal with the submarines, of course. I'm gonna launch my aircraft. I'm gonna go... Hmm. Let's see, is this kind of a decent angle? Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe something like this. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's go like this. And watch the minimap. Ah, uh, that didn't. Uh, oh, I went a little to the right. Okay. All right, I, I missed a little to the left. Let's try this again. That didn't, uh, that didn't seem to do too much there. This is not working as, as planned here. It's okay, I got, I got ammo. I can take some pot shots. This is not working as well as I'd hoped, honestly. No, this is, this is really not working as well as I'd hoped. How are, how are so many of these buildings surviving this? I don't feel like there should be so many survivors. Fire another one that way. Ah, well, there we go. It kind of worked, but it didn't cut a huge swath through the yellow splotch there like I was hoping it would. I just wanted a big black line to appear through the yellow <laughs> the yellow spot on the map, but it didn't end up happening that way. Oh, well, we tried. It was, it was almost really cool. It just didn't quite do what I wanted it to. I guess maybe I didn't have it lined up well enough to get a good, a good run through, like, the length of it, but... Eh. 
Were the buildings just like, some of them must be like immune to the, the weight gun maybe? I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you what happened there. But now I got these ships to deal with though. Would not be opposed, of course, to getting any more uh, systems and stuff. Getting another, getting another S rank, so. Try to deal with all these submarines here. Any more? Nope. Alright, that's all the submarines. There's those guys over there, but eh, we should have enough for the S rank anyways. Alrighty. Yep, plenty for the S rank, which I think is Enigma Taxita again, which now we should have researched. So, it doesn't actually matter that much. Hmm. Bunch of uh, okay systems there. Hmm. We have a super weapon fight coming up, it seems. Up in Japan. 640, Glaring Danger. I'm trying to remember what this mission is, but I don't know. Alright, I guess we're going to figure it out here in a second, in the briefing. So yeah, we can continue special episodes as episodes daily after the Werner's Path missions are done. Or we can start the new Let's Play and then just do special episode streams, uh, basically until we run out of ideas. But leave your vote for that in the comments section down below. Meantime, in the meantime, we have a giant ship with a friggin' giant wave gun laser that just cut an island in half. And he sailed through it like a boss. You know exactly what we gonna do. I love that line. It doesn't... <laughs> uh, I mean, most of the rest of the game is such a serious game, and then, and then that. <laughs> How about a massive wave gun? Hmm... Best if we approached a stern, you say, is you spawn us directly in front of this freaking thing. <laughs> Good luck with that approach a stern thing. Uh, I suppose let's go ahead and check R&D real quick here. Just to see. You know what? I don't think we have... We don't, obviously we don't have anything new in there. Um, let's see. If we do this quick enough, we can probably we can probably do this mission this episode. We got like six minutes to go here. I think we can do it. We're probably just gonna end up using our wave gun against him anyways. So, and we have a better wave gun, I think. I'm gonna try not to skip through dialogue. All hands alert. Full speed ahead. Hello. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to up the difficulty again. Oh well. He wouldn't have had enough health to survive even on hard, I don't think. There we go, we sunk Drunus Gas. Instantly. <laughs> 
And this is why I said we can probably do this mission real quick. Ta-da! Mission accomplished. Hooray! Okay, let's go back here. Just because we can. Let's launch our choppers and stuff. Uh, let's see. Parts, funds, parts, funds, parts. Okay. I don't know if I'll get to any of those in time. Let me, while we're sailing over there, a cool 66 knots. Let me, oh, come on, internet. I'm trying to pull up the FAQ 640. Treasure is on EL2, is Japan Carrier 4. Meh. Parts, parts, parts. Secret Blue Town. Uh, secret, yeah, blah. Secret Blueprint for the Yorktown class is one possibility, but I don't even know if we, we might already have that, honestly. Guess we'll sink this guy. Treasure, I'm not terribly worried about. Um, if we were on hard plus, we could maybe find high explosive missile VLS, but we forgot to put it back on, well, I should say I forgot to put it back on hard difficulty. There are some Invisa ships nearby. Yeah, okay, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. We're gonna get the story. And we'll end off the episode. <laughs> you mean... What's, what's that? The Wilkin Freedom Force has a, a wave gun even bigger than the one that we just cut an island in half with? What? Oh, shit. We better, we better surrender, I guess, huh? <laughs> eh, B rank. No parts. Whatever. It's fine. Wall of text. That's deep, man. That's real deep. Cool picture of the burning wreck of the Drunus cast sinking into the ocean. The assumedly, or presumably, I should say, uh, shallow ocean, <laughs> at least in that spot. 6.50! So we got uh, four more missions to go. It's like three, well, it's anywhere from two to... Two to four episodes, depending on how things go here. <laughs> Start an uprising against the Empire. Ah, this mission. Yes. Six forty is an interesting mission. Um, it 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 
can every once in a while become an overwhelming mission, but it's not usually too bad. And look at that, we're at like 20 minutes now. That's, that was pretty much perfect, so sweet. We got two story missions done now. 20 turns to go on those guys. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the proposed ideas for the special episodes. Um, in the comments down below, please leave a vote. We can either do daily special episode videos, or we can just go ahead and start the new Let's Play and then do special episode streams. Uh, I like the stream format a lot better. I think that was a lot more fun. I always, I, obviously, I always love streaming with you guys. Um, and again, we can have ideas, you know, pop up. Like for example, during that last stream, we crossed a few things off the list, but we added a few more. So, you know, I think, uh, I think that's a fun way to handle it. So, and I, you know, unfortunately, I cannot guarantee when streams will be. I would, of course, try to put them on Sundays. I work Saturdays at my job, so that wouldn't be a thing. Um, I would try to, you know, keep doing them Sundays like I have been uh, at around the same time, 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Times when they'd start, maybe go for two and a half, three hours, and, and just have fun playing Worship Gunner 2. Just just sit down and have a good old time playing this gem of a game. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next episode of Worship Gunner 2 on Warner's Path.